I'm going through an engine build at the moment. And I'm up to? Checking my lifters. Now I've got this set up so that I've got all of these. So this is number one, this is the front. And we've got exhaust because of the small valves and inlet over here. When I came to checking some of the lifters, I noticed that some of them were completely stiff. Like this one here is completely stiff. So when I squeeze it, I can't feel any movement. No oil comes out. And some of them um, were squishy. That one's stiff. That one's stiff. That one's stiff. So most of these inlet ones are all stiff. But on the exhaust side, I had a couple that were squishy. And when I started looking at why or which ones are good and which ones are bad, I found that there was a lot of misinformation about what is a bad in adjuster and what is a good in adjuster. So these ones are all stiff, which actually is a good thing. However, they could be also be seized, which would be a bad thing. So that's why I needed to develop a way to test these. And this is what I've come up with. So this is one of those exhaust lifters and it is actually solid. So we can see this has fluid in it. I don't know if it's seized or if it's just holding its fluid very well. So what we need to do is to be able to release the fluid from this, check that it is able to be moved and then clean it and then return some oil to it to make sure that it will hold its pressure. I'm confident that these are holding pressure. We just want to make sure that they're not seized. So we're just going to push this lifter off like that. And now this can be removed from the lifter arm. This will stay on this clip, so don't worry too much about that. But now we can work on getting relieving the fluid out of this and giving it a clean out. So what we're going to do here is get this 1.5 millimeter drill bit. I'm going to push it in. You can see I'm displacing some oil there. I'm going to go quite deep. Then I'm going to find the center and still need to find a point where it will depress a little bit further. And then I can now release that, okay? So that's now opened up the internal valve, which is right down the bottom here. And it's allowed the oil to come out, okay? So we, this is not a seized lifter. This is looking good. So now what we can do is while we're holding it like this, we can put it in the fluid and pump it and try and clean out all the old oil and flush it out. Okay, once you get the oil out, it will remain springy like this because there's no oil in there to lock it up. Okay, so now I've cleaned that one. We can flush it. You can see all the old oil come out. And we can also back flush it. Okay, now we can just let this parts cleaner dry off. And then we'll go through the process of refilling it with oil and making sure that it's going to seal up properly. But I'm confident that these ones are good because I've released the oil and now it's springy again. I just need to make sure that when we reintroduce the oil, it all stays happy. This is a hydraulic lifter that has been totally drained and emptied of fluid. I've cleaned it out with some parts cleaner and now it needs to be checked to make sure that it will actually work as a hydraulic tappet or lifter. This is a tub of fresh oil. So what I'm doing here is just demonstrating what needs to be done to get this to fill with oil to check it again. 
So you can see there that as I pump it, we're not seeing any air bubbles or anything come out of the side oil entry hole. And that is because we need to release a valve inside, deep down inside. So here I've got a 1.5 millimeter drill bit and I'm going to poke that all the way down. And you do need to jiggle it a little bit to get a feel for what's happening. Okay, so you can see how deep that's gone in. Then I'm going to find the right place. I still haven't got it in the right place yet to where it will go just a little bit further. I still haven't got it. Okay, I think I've got it there and I can hear the sound. There you go, you can see I've pushed it in that further. Now what I need to do is hold the drill bit and push on the piston. So I'm doing that. So now as I dip that in the oil, we can see all those air bubbles come out. So now I'm pulling in fluid and I'm pushing air out. Okay, so now we can see that the bubbles have stopped. There is one bubble there, but it keeps retracting. Now, if I remove the pin or the drill bit in this case, now when I try and push this, it has gone solid. And this is exactly what the lifter is supposed to do. So now what I'm doing is cleaning this up, sticking it on the shelf, and then I'll come back in an hour or so to see if, I, if it's still stiff. And if it is, then I know my lifter is good.